working with a Twinstar sterilizer, you only need to follow a few very simple rules for maintenance. The chemical reactions taking place in the Twinstar reactor may result in mineral deposits forming on the grid-shaped electrodes. This depends strongly on the composition of your aquarium water, though. In hard water, white lime deposits may form. When there are a lot of silicates in the water, the deposits are of a light yellow shade. These deposits may inhibit the bubble production of the Twinstar, but can be removed easily with the Twinstar cleaner. Please clean your Twinstar on a regular basis. For cleaning, pour half a bag or around 15 gram into a container. Add 200 milliliter of hot water. Stir well. Place the reactor in the solution. Small bubbles will rise that show you the chemical reaction that removes the deposits is in full swing. After some minutes the reactor is clean and can be used again after a good rinse under running water. Regular cleaning can increase the useful life of the reactor significantly. The manufacturer lists the reactor as part that is prone to wear and they recommend an exchange after around a year. The spare reactor comes in three different sizes for the various twinster types of the old and new series. When you change water or work inside the aquarium, unplug the Twinstar, just to be on the safe side. Do not put your hands in the water when the device emits bubbles. If your skin has small lesions or cracks, you might feel a slight electric irritation. This is a harmless effect though. When the operating LED flashes and you do not notice the emission of bubbles on the reactor, check all plug connections for proper fit. You can only reset the control unit of the old Twinstar types of the first series. Press and hold the power button for longer than 10 seconds until the LED flashes several times. Twinstar has been designed for the use in freshwater aquaria. Sodium chloride should be not be detectable in the water if possible. Keep the content as low as you can. Thank you.